Okay, this is the second video on using titrations to find a missing value. And this one here, we're gonna look at finding volumes. The previous video is worth a watch. It shows you how to find a concentration. Just a reminder that using the triangle amount, concentration, and volume, so this is a chicken vindaloo, take to remember it. The amount is measured in moles. The volume has to be measured in decimeters cubed and they will give you volumes in centimeters cubed. So we have to divide that by a thousand to convert centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. And because this is moles per decimeter cubed, that is the units for the concentration, moles per decimeter cubed. So there's my question. It says a solution of sodium hydroxide has a concentration of 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. And what is the volume of this solution that is going to be needed to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of a 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid solution? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information that's written down. I'm going to add it to the balanced equation here for the neutralization reaction. So it says the solution of sodium hydroxide has a concentration of, and this is 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. And it says, what is the volume of this? So I'm going to have to find the volume. So I'm going to put that in there. So it's unknown. So we need to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid with a concentration of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. So the way to do this is I know two things about the, sodium, the sulfuric acid. So I'm going to start my calculation with this because I have to start with the thing I know two things about. So I'm starting here with my um, sulfuric acid. And what I need to do is to find out how many moles there are in this 25 centimeters cubed that has reacted. So I'm trying to find the, the amount, the moles. I take the amount and its concentration times volume. So the amount is equal to concentration times volume. So the concentration is 0.1 and the volume is 25. So I do that, remember, divide it by a thousand centimeters cubed, because this is 25 centimeters cubed. It's time to get your calculator out to check this. And if you do this on your calculator, you should get an answer of 2.5 times 10 to the minus three. I just squeeze it on there, moles. So now I know how many moles there are in this volume that have reacted. What I now have to do in stage two is link these two together using this equation. And I do that by looking at stoichiometry. So I can see that there's one mole of H2SO4 reacting with two moles of sodium hydroxide. So all I'm doing is using a balanced equation to see there's two moles of sodium hydroxide reacting with one mole of the sulfuric acid. So this is the stoichiometry. And I'm going to write that down. So I've got two moles of Na. OH and that's reacting with one mole of H2SO4 and the sulfuric acid. This is how many moles of sulfuric acid I've got. So let's bring that down here. So I've got 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles from my calculation. And let's just be careful. Let's just check and think about this. So how do I get from here to here? It's a ratio of times by 2. Therefore, I have to do the same with this. I have to double this many moles to get the right number of moles of sodium hydroxide. And if I do that, I get 5.0 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Okay, so that's just using stoichiometry to work out the moles of the um, sodium hydroxide. And I now know that this many moles are linked to this concentration. But I've got to find the volume that they are contained in. So my third step is to find that volume. So I'm going back up to my triangle. The volume equals the amount divided by concentration. So the third step, okay, is to find the volume. And using the triangle, I've just said that the volume equals the amount divided by the concentration. So the amount is the bit I've just worked out, is 5.0 times 10 to the minus three moles. The concentration is told in the question, it's 0.25, so it's 0.25. And then again, 
calculator work, work this out. This gives me an answer of 0 0.02. Be careful, These, this is in decimeters cubed, so this is in decimeters cubed, and it's fine to leave your answer in decimeters cubed, but that's gonna be 0 0.02 decimeters cubed as a final answer. Okay, don't forget to check out the other video on finding concentrations and then both together you can solve any question at all that they give you of this type.